Hi everybody, welcome to The Messy Cook by Dale. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I'm really excited about this recipe because it's quick, it's easy, and it's delicious. It is called New England Baked Halibut. Now, uh, the reason it's called that is because it originated in New England, and uh, truth be told, apparently, uh, the venues, the wedding venues in the New England all offer this as an alternative to meat. So it's very popular. Um, they use, uh, we use, I'm using panko today, breadcrumbs, but they use Ritz crackers, which also comes from New England. So it really makes it uh, special. But today we're using uh, panko. You can use uh, Ritz crackers if you want as well. All right, so it starts with a pound to a pound and a half of halibut. Um, what you want to do is, if it's frozen, you want to pat it really dry once it's uh, defrosted, or even if you get it from the uh, f the fishmonger, you want to pat it dry and make sure you um, it's quite dry when you put it in the pan. You want to put it on a cookie sheet like this. I line mine with parchment. You can do the same. Um, I what I did was I put salt and pepper on the other side, and I'm going to put salt and pepper now on this side. If you're using uh, salted butter then don't put quite so much but if you're using the unsalted butter then you want to make sure it's well salted okay in a, a uh, bowl like this I have four tablespoons of melted butter uh, one cup of panko again you can use the Ritz crackers or any kind of crackers or whatever you like and in here now that could be it and traditionally sometimes that that is just it in New England but you can also mix it up a little bit by putting some um, uh, lemon zest which I did I put a little bit of onion powder just a just a, a pinch or two garlic powder and some chives uh, pepper and salt and pepper and that's it you can also make make it a little bit spicier too if you wanted to put in uh, some red pepper flakes maybe that would be nice this is an easy meal that you can make during the week it's um, takes no time at all and it's only t uh, 15 minutes in the uh, in the uh, oven. You want to preheat your oven, by the way, to 350. Now, depending on how thick your um, halibut steaks are, fillets are, then you know you have to check to make sure it's done. Uh, so, what you want to do is see if it gets flaky. You know, try it, and if it's flaky and looks nice and white, then you're good to go. It's ready. You don't want to overcook fish. You know that because it gets tough and it's not it's not tasty. All right, so this is what you do. Now it goes into the oven, like I said, for about 15 minutes, watch it, at 350 degrees, and you've got yourself a great New England baked halibut. All right, so I'm gonna put this in the oven, I'll come back, and I'll show you what it looks like. See you later. Hi, we're back, here it is, New England halibut bake. Looks fabulous, it was in the oven for about 15 minutes, maybe a little less. It's flaky and it looks delicious, so we're going to give it a try. That's oh, lovely. Mm, rich and really holds together. It's beautiful. It's flaky. It's wonderful. Anyway, I hope you try this. Um, we're still on dry February for cancer research. No wine. I hope you like this. If you do, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and spread the word. I really appreciate that. Be kind to yourselves and the other and others around you. Uh, remember to stay safe. But most of all, forget the mess. See you next time.